let me take you to an interesting place here we have arrived at a city that floats on water yes you are right we are in venice now this city is indeed very unique because it is entirely covered with water and hence it is often regarded as a city of water i hope most of you would love to visit this place at least once in your lifetime well this city as we can see in this video is entirely covered with water because it is located beside a sea can you name it well this map shows the location of venice and as we can see here venice which is an important city of italy is located beside the mediterranean sea here now the word mediterranean can be divided into two parts where medi means middle and terren means land so mediterranean sea simply implies a sea that is between land masses now as we can see here this water body is indeed surrounded by land masses from all the sides and hence it is named as mediterranean sea now let us explore the region around mediterranean sea well the region around mediterranean sea is known as mediterranean region well this region is unique not only because of its location but also because of its climatic condition and thus mediterranean region forms an important biome of the world now this biome or natural region of the world stretches from 30 to 45 degrees north and south of the equator well this biome is not only restricted around the mediterranean sea but also spreads to other parts of the world let's find out well mediterranean region is most prominent among the european countries that is located in the mediterranean basin and these countries are spain italy greece and some parts of france and turkey so these are the european countries which are part of the mediterranean biome mediterranean region also spreads in small parts of north and south america in north america it is mainly located in the western part of usa that is around san francisco and in south america it is located in central chile again the southernmost part of south africa is also a part of mediterranean biome and finally the southwestern parts of australia consist of mediterranean regions so till now we have discussed about the location of mediterranean biome we found that mediterranean regions not only exist around the mediterranean sea but also spread to other continents of the world let us now discuss about the climatic conditions of this biome well shifting of pressure belts is most prominent in the mediterranean regions by shifting of pressure belts i mean that there is a northwards shift of pressure belts during summer and southwards shift of pressure belts during winter and these pressure belts as we know shifts due to change in the vertical position of the sun this is to say that during equinoxes the sun is overhead the equator whereas during summer solstice the sun's position shifts and is overhead the tropic of cancer that is 23 and a half degree north latitude now since the sun is overhead the tropic of cancer so this region gets intensely heated more than the equatorial region as a result there is northwards shift in pressure belts so this region experiences warmer summer whereas the sun as we can see is far away from the tropic of capricorn as a result this region experiences cooler winter now let's see what happens as sun shifts southwards 
well as the sun shifts southwards and is vertical over tropic of capricorn so southern hemisphere experiences summer whereas northern hemisphere experiences winter in fact as we can see here the sun is far away from tropic of cancer as a result this region experiences cooler winter whereas this region experiences warmer summer so as a result of seasonal shifts in pressure belts we find that these regions that is around 45 to 30 degrees north and south of the equator the region experiences mediterranean type of climate that is this region has wide variation in summer and winter conditions the climate of mediterranean regions is not only influenced by shift in pressure belts but also by the presence of local winds now local winds as we know are prevalent only over a small region and they may be hot and cold thereby influencing the climate of that region for instance when a hot local wind blows over a particular region it usually increases the temperature of that places whereas when a cold wind blows over a region it decreases the temperature of that place now an example of a hot local wind that blows from sahara desert towards the mediterranean sea and european lands is sirocco while a cold local winds that blows in the mediterranean lands of european countries is mistral so mistral is a cold local wind whereas sirocco is a hot local wind now another hot local wind that blows over the mediterranean lands of south africa is berg so these are the local winds that are prevalent in some parts of the mediterranean regions and these local winds have significant influence on the climate of these regions now before we proceed with our lesson let me ask you a question can you identify the hot local wind that blows in the mediterranean lands of south africa is it mistral sirocco berg or lu well the correct answer is berg berg is a hot local wind that blows over the mediterranean lands of south africa so the correct answer is berg well this chart displays the temperature and precipitation pattern of mediterranean regions of the world well let me tell you that mediterranean regions have two distinct seasons that is summer and winter now as we can see here during summer the temperature is high and it ranges between 30 to 35 degree celsius whereas during winter there is significant drop in temperature and it ranges between 10 to 12 degree celsius so here we can find that there is wide variation in summer and winter temperatures in fact the mean annual range of temperature in the mediterranean regions is very high and the mean annual range of temperature implies that there is wide variation in the maximum and minimum temperatures of summer and winter months now let us calculate the range of temperature for summer and winter months now for this purpose let us select a summer month say july and a winter month say february where in the month of july we can see that the maximum temperature is about 31 degree celsius whereas in the month of february the maximum temperature is 14 degree celsius so the range of temperature that is the difference between max and minimum temperature will be 31 minus 14 which is equal to 17 degree celsius 
Thus, we can find that the mean annual range of temperature in the Mediterranean regions is indeed very high and it usually ranges from 10 to 15 degree Celsius. Now, not only there is wide variation in temperature, but also the rate of precipitation varies seasonally. Now, can you observe something strange about the rainfall pattern of Mediterranean regions? Yes, we can actually find something strange about the rainfall pattern of Mediterranean regions. This is to say that in summer months, the rate of precipitation is very low, whereas during winter months, the rate of precipitation is comparatively higher. Now, this is very contradictory to the precipitation pattern of rest of the world's climatic zones because for rest of the climatic zones, we either find that maximum rainfall occurs during summer months or it rains throughout the year as in equatorial region. But in Mediterranean region, we find that the summers are usually dry whereas winters are moist and wet. Thus, we can say that the climate of Mediterranean regions is characterized by dry summer and moist winter. So, this brings us to the end of today's discussion on Mediterranean region. Initially, we discussed about the location of Mediterranean region. I mentioned that this biome is not only located around the Mediterranean Sea, but also spreads to other continents of the world. And then we discussed in details about the climatic conditions of this biome. In our next video, we will see how these climatic conditions influences the vegetation and lifestyle of people living in this particular biome. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to our 5000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests. Get all your doubt resolved instantly. Learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy but it's rewarding too so register for free now